Welcome guys, uh, in today's video I'm going to show you my hands-on course on Total Station uh, where I'm teaching essentials for construction. So we got the robot in Total Stations, uh, we had the laser level and obviously the basic for engineers. We just uh, covered basic stuff about the Total Station, familiarization, uh, we went through the certificates of calibration and uh, we actually do our first setup here inside. So uh, now after break we're going to go outside and uh, will be even more interesting stuff. But obviously the basic stuff, prisms, constants, pole connection, measure types, uh, measure modes, uh, some target types, look what I got here. A uh, big thanks to George. So this is the just the first thing on the first day of the course. A little bit cold today, we are outside now. Like guys, I see they leveled the instruments and we're going to be checking the error. So two-phase check on the instrument and on later resection and some survey. So we are after second break. We actually started a little bit early because it was crazy rain, but look at this and beautiful weather now. And obviously we setting up the instruments again. And what are we gonna be doing? Uh, we're gonna be transferring the some datums on the walls. So we're gonna be using this tomorrow for setting out our manholes. So uh, tomorrow we're gonna be working both with the total station and with the laser level. So we created some points, uh, we use the drainage drawing and drainage schedule for it. And uh, so we got some coordinates, we edited points as well. That's what we're gonna be doing. Obviously in most cases, we're gonna be actually taking the data from the drawings, but uh, we should actually know how to just create the point really and edit the point. Yeah, so we nearly got in there the first day. Uh, we also uh, surveyed some new targets, found a job. Obviously, this needs to be very careful, maybe not at the beginning of your career, but uh, I want to show this to the guys that you can obviously, using the house build or survey application, you can take the information about any point really we're taking. So like before we were doing the curb survey here, like a little topo survey around this area, we can shoot any point we like and uh, we can include it in our control. We have to be very careful. This is typically done by surveyors coming on the job from time to time, or it can be done by us, but obviously maybe from different setups and take the average. But uh, that's the exercise here we're doing. Uh, we get in the new points and then we do the resection, including our new control points and having a look what we got. And uh, like I said before, the datums are set now. Uh, for tomorrow, second day of the course, we're uh, going to start from uh, having a look at the survey we did yesterday. So we're going to combine the surveys. We're going to see all that area we were working on yesterday. And then, uh, yeah, yesterday was mostly basic stuff about the total station, setups, uh, resection and the as build. So the survey program. And today, uh, as I said, we're going to quickly go uh, through what we went yesterday and then uh, laser. So we're going to start from leveling today and then going to be exercises combining the total station and the laser level on site so uh, I'll show you this anyway going to be marking the manholes uh, and setting the laser for the dig and also going to be marking some grid lines and uh, marking actually where the step in the soffit is and also setting the laser for the formwork uh, as you can see we are in the leveling part as I said so we had a look at the Perry sky deck formwork and uh, I got general arrangement drawings uh, we were calculating the soffit levels and uh, obviously the bottom of the beam, of the skydive beam, to set it. So I'm going to go outside now. Uh, guys already setting the instruments, so we're going to be marking some grid lines uh, using the tape measure. All engineers use the tape measure. And obviously looking at the drawings. Nicely printed 2D on the paper drawings and taking information. And uh, yeah, let's have a look how the guy's doing. That's how it is. So this is the second day and then uh, we got the laser there set so now we're going to be both uh, this one is a little bit of level uh, going to be both obviously using total station and the laser level information from the drawings and uh, that's how a real engineer's job is looking we have the break now and then uh, obviously set up again Gabriel is leveling nicely the instrument and uh, we just finished the uh, 
setting out the levels for our decking. Start with my five meter datum here as well, as you can see here, I'm using tape here. I want to nicely set on the staff. And then what we're going to be doing now, uh, we got uh, our manhole, uh, center of our manhole set. So we're going to be marking the points now. So this is going to be stake out uh, with the point, marking the point. And then later, obviously, once we're going to mark the manhole, we know the position of the manhole, but we want it also the dig level. So uh, that's our laser here. We turn it on in a minute. And uh, everyone from yesterday uh, was marking the datum and using the total station for it. So we're actually transferring the height uh, with the total station. So we got a datum set. And then today we're gonna be marking the position of manholes, like I said, and setting the dig level. So this is all the workflow taken from the drawings, uh, uh, setting up your total station, then transferring the levels, uh, set the date on the benchmark, wherever you like, uh, whenever you're gonna use it really. And then obviously uh, mark the position of what you're doing and then refer to the datums. And I'm happy to go now to market uh, just to make sure what laser is, but uh, I'm gonna see this soon. And that will be actually, to see that laser here, also look how big it is. We're gonna be obviously marking the center of it and that's gonna be our manhole. Let me mark it now. Uh, we can use whatever we like for it. I got a pencil here. I can mark it with the pencils, just the center of it. Uh, we can mark it with our Sharpie here. We can also use uh, the Tipex for it. Uh, that's what we typically use here on this course as well. And uh, like before, I'm just gonna connect uh, with the total station. I just uh, wanted that at 1.8. That's what I typically do. This needs to go right now. That's fine. This you can see there's still a marking a point, a marking a manhole. Uh, this doesn't require high accuracy, even marking with the laser like before. But uh, when we are marking the line, uh, we are going for high accuracy. So that's in general what I wanted to show you through this course. This is quite the uh, intensive two days of learning. Obviously, we went through much more uh, with verticality, checking the elements. Uh, we were also uh, doing a calculation on area and volume, which are very useful for us engineers. And then obviously plenty more stuff in the background. So uh, if you enjoy this, uh, if you want to take part in this, please don't hesitate to contact me. And remember also uh, there is a couple of free Udemy courses available for you, where I'm sharing just basic, basic knowledge for the beginners. And after this, uh, it's really good to put your hands on it. So thank you for watching and see you next time.